So there's so many cool toys at this toy fair. This is one of them. It's called Rocket Racers. And my friend Cy over here, he's going to race me to the moon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the sky's almost the limit for these students when it comes to what they can create for this final project. No rule set on what they can make, except that the total volume of the 3D printing material we limit it to 15 cubic inches. Uh, that's perhaps one, and then the $80 limit. Professor Karthik Ramani has had his students design toys as part of a final project for nearly 22 years. So it's kind of hands-on experience, bringing all their knowledge up together in a, in a fun way. So there's a lot of interesting things that come out of this uh, learning experience. Ramani says he's seen it all over the years, from puzzles that get you to think. So you have five seconds to uh, rotate the pieces. The to toys that get you to test your reflexes. And then you shoot it into the middle, just like that. To toys that play cool music. Romney says he always updates his classes, allowing students to use the newest technology like 3D printing and laser cutting, ensuring that their projects are cutting edge. And no fair is complete without winners. We give three awards, uh, the best and most innovative toy. And once you start to get near the top, uh, the winner's flag will pop out the top. Uh, the best marketing pitch. And control the transmission system through the smartphone. Now it's in high gear. And the best engineered toy. To uh, rotate the pieces. And the awards are separate from the grade for the class. In addition, depending on every year, we give one or two other special awards. And all the projects stay right in the engineering building in a toy museum that's visited by children from across the state. Nina Slosberg, Star City News.